If you've created some calculations in the past, you know that concatenation uses the ampersand. It's like the plus sign for text, gluing two or more pieces of text together into a single string. It's pretty easy to do, so I want to show you how you can conditionally concatenate without case, choose, or if. So here's a pretty common scenario. You have three fields, first name, middle name, and last name and you want to put them together into one string. You can see both of these formulas here put them together perfectly. And if we remove the middle name, you'll see there's not an extra space in there. So let's see how that works. We'll go up to our first choice, which is this one. And this is pretty common. We take the first name, which we're assuming is always filled, and the last name, which we're assuming is always filled. but in the middle put in a case statement saying if there's something inside the middle name, in other words not is empty, the opposite of is empty which would be is full but there's no is full function so we just put the not function in front of it. If there's something in it then take the middle name and add a space otherwise the default is empty or nothing for the case statement. So that works great it's a you know a little bit of work here to type the case statement Let's see how you do it with the substitute function. What you do is you take the list function. Now the list function is pretty cool. What it does is allows you to put together values in a return separate list. So since we're working from the inside out, we'll go put some returns here. This gets done first. So the result of this would be John, then a return, Mark, then a return, Osborne. What the substitute function does is say take these returns, which are right there and there, and replace them with spaces. So in this case, it puts a space there. If I could type a space, there we go, and does that. But if there's no middle name, what ends up happening is we don't get a blank return in there. We get no return in there. We get just John Osborne. It's just the way that the list function works. Because this is empty, it doesn't put a value separator. So the substitute function then works on it this way and puts just a single space between it. So that's pretty cool because it's a lot easier to write this in my opinion than the case statement. It's less verbose and it really comes in handy and shines when you look at another example. So let's go and take a look at it. Here's an example of a mailing label. You can see that both are able to distinguish between having the address to filled or not filled or if we take the company out it'll pop back up. Both work fine. One uses case or if if you like and one uses substitute. So we'll come in here look at the case one first. And you can see we have quite a few cases. We have a case up here to check if the company's filled. Case right here to see if the middle, well, that's the same as what we did before, the middle name. Checking to see if the address 2 is filled and again with the company and the address 2 we put a return or not not a space in this case, and then also with country, so we have quite a few cases here. With the substitute function, you can see it becomes a lot easier. All I do is list out these values, and in this case, we don't have to use the substitute function. We just have to list them out. It just simply puts it together the way we want it. In fact, you can even go ahead and do some concatenation right inside the list function. So it does this first, does this part first and then does all the list for it. So you can see how it's easier to write and a lot less verbose when you get longer more complicated formulas.